Hi everyone. For those of you who know me, who know me, this is Albert Tercasso. For those of you who don't, this is Albert Tercasso. Nah. Really, this is not a fun video. Um, this video is for all of our deceased animals. I want to start by sending my condolences to Tony or Anthony B and his girlfriend and to everyone around the globe who recently lost an animal who's who has ever lost an animal you have my condolences now according to some some people's interpretation of the bible they say that animals don't have a soul and they're not going to be there they're not going to be in heaven with us. And I said, nothing in the universe will keep me from wanting to be with a Heavenly Father. God, I believe in the Heavenly Father. If you believe in it, otherwise, that's great. I said, nothing would separate me. And even if I couldn't be with my animals in the afterlife. And don't worry, I know this may make you upset, but there's a good part here. Just just hang in there. I said, even if it meant never seeing them again, and believe me, that would really hurt. I said, nothing's going to turn me against God. Nothing's going to turn me against Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit. But let me just say this. I don't believe that. And just because it's not possibly in the Bible, which it may or not, may or may not be, depending on interpretation, I imagine, it doesn't matter in the sense that even if every word of the Bible is correct, or any book, religious book, it doesn't mean God taught us everything. Maybe God did not choose to say that your animals that I bring to you are going to be with you when you come back to heaven or paradise or wherever it is that you believe in. You see, I believe in a higher power. I believe in God. I believe in the Holy Spirit and, you know, Jesus. And God by every name. And I know that God or the higher power or the universe, whatever people believe, loves us so much that we had the chance on earth to be with these very precious souls. So precious that when I think about many of my animals, I still cry. I'm considered a tough guy, and believe me, there's things I'm very tough on. Not when it comes to my animals. So I do believe there is a rainbow bridge. Maybe not a rainbow bridge, but that they are there, their spirits are there, and I do believe they will greet us. And ironically, some faiths believe there's reincarnation. If there is, then when we get back to paradise, we're going to have a whole lot more animals to talk to and play with. But I believe we will be reunited with our wonderful animals. Now, I do need to look at my cam, I mean, my camera, my, you know, my uh, phone, I should say, <clears throat> because, unfortunately, I didn't quite remember the name of some of these wonderful animals, not out of ignorance, just quite frankly, I was driving when I pulled over for a minute to see it, so if you would bear with me for a second, I know it's kind of odd, but sometimes you have to do what you have to do, right? I don't want to miss the names of Anthony and his girlfriend's animals. So it looks like Jez Jezebel or Jezebel, J-E-Z-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, and then Jolie, it looks like, J-O-L-I. To Anthony and each of you, I would say, with or without regards to without, I mean, any faith, any book of faith. 
I believe truly that there is a higher power. And as such, I believe truly that animals are there. But let me assure, reassure you that I have a basis for that. And really, you have experienced the basis, and I have too. Think about the joy these animals have given us. Our wonderful animals. How loyal they were, for the most part. And where they were when we needed them most. I believe that God, or whatever you may call God, I believe these animals are there, and I'll tell you why. Not only were they always loyal, helped us out, that type of thing, but they don't kill people. And it just, a lot of reasons, really. But I have to tell you about the original baby girl, my cat, one of my cats. She was a human in cat form. She was the first ever cat that I had. I think I was about six, five years old. But she truly was a human in cat form. And why I say that was, we had a hamster. And this hamster got out of his enclosure. And we had a hole in our floor in the living room that we didn't know about. It was a little teeny hole. Big enough for the hamster to fall through and expire, but not big enough for the cat to fall through. And sure enough, one day my cat's crying in the dining, I mean living room, and just would not stop. And she wouldn't move from this one spot. We finally get over there and she was saving the life of a hamster. She was blocking the hole so the hamster would not fall. Then when we got the hamster back in the enclosure, she came in, she was like, you're gonna get my brother in there. And I never would have expected it because you know, a ha hamster looks similar to a, a rat or a mouse. You would think she would have been, you know, having din dinner or lunch. But then came a couple years later and I was away, living away from home but I was home for the weekend. And once again, original baby girl started screaming and meowing and wouldn't stop. And I was watching a TV series called Chiller Theater with Bill Cardill, also known as Chili Billy. And my cat just kept screaming in the, in, in the kitchen. Sure enough, I finally go in there. I'm thinking something's wrong. Go in there and I get this huge butcher knife because I knew something wasn't right. I just didn't know what. I was about 12, 13 years old. Sure enough, my cat acted like our cat, acted like a watch cat, and alerted us to a man attempting to break into our house. And I know a lot of people are gonna to hear this and think, wow, is that true? Yeah, it's true. But I wanna get back to you and your cats and your dogs and the other animals. If there are any spirits in paradise, I believe it would be animals. Just as much it would be humans. But animals, I have found to be much more loyal, loving, outstanding, and just so different in so many ways. I'll tell you another little quick sidebar. I had a cat named Ebony Midnight. And we didn't have the funding to get his cancer cured. And he had a really bad situation where, let's just say it was incredibly hideous. So about a week before he died, lying on my chest, about a week before, I had gotten the flu. And he came up on my chest and he started crying and he wouldn't stop. And I thought he was ready to leave us. I'm like, it's okay, baby. I love you. I'm going to miss you, Ebony, and all that, you know. Tears in my eyes. Yeah, I admit it. And do you know, he wasn't 
worried about his own health. He was worried about his dad being dad being sick. His fur parent, his guardian. I can I say him. He's my. I say he's my son. But can you imagine that? Imagine something like that. Here's a cat that's in extreme situation, worried about me. So I thank the higher power for those who don't believe the universe, but I thank God for those cats. And then I had another cat that, her name was Little Baby Girl. And I had been doing a lot of stuff in my life, like my TV series, which is unpaid, unfortunately. And everything I do so far has been unpaid. So I said to little baby girl, I was crying because she was dying on the bed and uh, almost dying. About a half hour before she died, I said that because of what happened and I couldn't get her help, that I was going to give up everything. I was going to get rid of the show, the video, everything. And do you know, this cat, a half hour before she died, do you want to know what she did? She put her hand or her paw into my hand, in a sense, telling me not to give up. And do you know to this day I haven't because of God, my family, but also because of little baby girl. And trust me, it's not easy to tell you this. But your animals are family. They are with you in spirit. And I believe that we will be reunited. And I believe we will re re be reunited in a paradise. And there are many religions and faiths on earth that don't believe half of the things that I believe in. But that's another video. What I want to say to Tony, I mean, yeah, I call him Tony. His girlfriend and each and every one of you. Just know that even though you can't hear them, you can't see them, you can't necessarily feel them, they're with you. They're with you in your mind, they're with you in your emotions, but they're also with you in spirit. I believe that. And it's only a matter of time before we all get reunited. It could be one year, it could be 100 years, it could be 200, but we'll be reunited. And their love for you will never stop. And yours, I'm sure, won't stop for them. I spoke to you about my first ever cat. And she died over, what, excuse me, about 40-some years ago. Never forgot her. Never will. I don't even think if I had a brain disease like the A or the P, you know, Parking or Alsi, I don't even want to say it. But somehow I think that I would at least be able to remember my animals. In closing, know that they will be with you. I can't speak for God, but I just don't think that that would be the case. Not only that, if we look at Noah from, you know, the Bible, what did God have him do? save animals. So again, just because our books of faith may not mention it doesn't mean that that it includes everything God ever said. There's not enough books in the universe to include everything God ever said or higher power. Your animals are with you. Just as original baby girl Ebony Midnight, Little Baby Girl, and all my other wonderful darling animals are with me. They're not going anywhere. And God loves us. And we were blessed to have these beautiful, wonderful, sometimes get on your last nerve animals. Let's be honest. But hey, I'm a very spiritual inner soul, if you will. I love each and every one of you. 
and each and every one of your animals. I simply do. I don't know them. I may not know you, but all of you matter. So as you are in sorrow, and believe me, I know the pain. Believe me, I know. Just know that one day you're going to be reunited. It may not be a bridge. It may not be the rainbow bridge, but it's going to be rainbow something most likely because we will reunite. I believe that. I truly think that when we look at things that our Heavenly Father has done, it kind of points to the fact that there may very well be a rainbow bridge. It certainly means a high probability that we're going to be reunited, wherever they may be. So keep the love for your animals. Know that myself and Annette feel your pain. Know that over the years I have lost a lot of animals. And know something else. I, I'm going to make a declaration. This is not necessarily the most appropriate video to do it, but, but it is the most important one. Many times I lost my animals. We lost them. Due to the fact I did not have income coming in. So I'm making a commitment to the spirits of all of my family members, human and animal, to finally find a way to earn money by helping others and to get my TV series on the airwaves so that I can help spread positive messages and, and help other people. My mission in life is to help people. It just is. And I don't ever want to lose another animal or human family member due to a lack of funding for their health care treatment. So that being the case, I hereby make a commitment to each and every one of you and to myself. And know that I'm with you in spirit. I know how it feels. God bless you. One day, you'll be with those wonderful animals again. Until then, you stay strong, okay? You got to stay strong for them. I know it's hard. I know that it's hard. But you got to do it. I love all of you. God bless you. And just know... They didn't go anywhere physically, yes, but spiritually, no. So God bless you.